Jupiter just got slammed by something so big, we saw it from Earth. You know such a planet as Jupiter, right? Well, today I'm going to tell you about something big that slammed Jupiter. We all know how we should call the objects that fall on planets, but this case is not like the rest. It raised many questions among astronauts. What could it be? Should we worry about it? And the main question, is there some mystery about it? Yes, it is, but let's start answering with other questions. So, visible from Earth, huh? It doesn't have to mean that the object was like a big spot in the sky. If it was so, we could be dead. The mystery was discovered on Wednesday night, August 7th. Some bunch of astronomers were watching the skies that day, and it so happened that they had his telescope pointed in the right place at the right time. Specifically, it was pointed at Jupiter, the fifth planet from the Sun. As they were watching, they captured something amazing, a small flash of light, almost certainly caused by the impact of something crashing into the gas giant. The mystery is that nobody knows what caused the impact. But people have some ideas, including big asteroids, meteors, or maybe some country decided to check their nuclear weapon. Don't ask what country it could be. Even the most plausible idea about possibility of a meteor impact could not have proven yet. It's just a best guess. Jupiter routinely delivers stunning pictures, say thanks to NASA for that. By using these images, astronomers will try to see what really happened on Jupiter. In their opinions, the most plausible explanations are either the impact was caused by a comet or by an asteroid. But don't forget, we're not talking about ordinary scientists. We talk about astronomers. So, UFO could be a guess, too. Some people think that the impact was caused by a bolide, a large meteor that explodes in the atmosphere and left much debris, the way the comet did. But it certainly bears the hallmarks of a meteor strike, and not something that might be produced by Jupiter's lightning flashes or auroras. Looking at the flash, the size of the explosion seems small, but it's important to remember that Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. The meteor had to have been quite big to produce a flash of such prominence. Scientists working on the James Webb Space Telescope and a board director at the Planetary Society said the impact won't likely leave dark debris like SL9 did in July 1994. Back to that day, 21 cometary fragments of SL9 slammed into Jupiter over the course of several days. That time, scientists led the team that used the Hubble Space Telescope to study the impact and how the planet's gassy atmosphere responded. The remarkable thing is that the apparent size of the flash is almost the size of Earth, which is tiny next to the giant gas planet. For reference, about three Earths could fit inside Jupiter's great red spot, which is also visible. Of course, this doesn't mean that whatever hit Jupiter was the size of a planet, just that the collision looks to have released a lot of explosive energy. But here's the thing. In 2010, a flash on Jupiter with a somewhat similar brightness was spotted. A group of astronomers looked at Jupiter with both NASA's Hubble and NSF's Gemini telescope, and another team looked with ESO's VLT. But they saw no impact site at all, which is strange. Back to our story, it's not so obvious as it could seem. Some astronomers said any scar left behind from the August 7 impact would be blown westward due to Jupiter's prevailing winds. Since 1994, astronomers have recorded an additional seven impacts on Jupiter. But though nothing quite on the scale of Shoemaker-Levy 9. That said, Jupiter is pounded by meteors on a regular basis, somewhere between 2,000 to 8,000 times the rate of impacts experienced on Earth. However, the vast majority of these impacts are too small to be detected from Earth and can't be dangerous for us. It's not a secret that the universe is a ruthless place, and we like it for that. But a big explosion on the moon and the same on Jupiter, it's two different things. You shouldn't forget about that. Thanks to Earth's location, it keeps all asteroid traffics directed in the outer solar system, missing our planet. But if you want to see how our planet will be collapsed one day, but science answers don't satisfy your worst features, Hollywood is the best choice for you. Share this video with your friends, and if you like, just write a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe on this channel to see more interesting videos. See you guys!